Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Good afternoon, Jank enthusiasts, and I have had just about enough of losing to Cyberstein. Unfortunately, jank in the post-GOAT formats is pretty few and far between. All of that jank that we were playing during GOAT and Reaper was developed after the fact. Historically, in 2005 and 2006, jank was limited pretty much exclusively to Cyberstein decks, Royal Magical Library FTKs, and basically the same 20 to 30 card cores with a couple of interesting tech choices teched in. It took a lot of looking to find something truly horrific, but thankfully in the start of 2007, we found this. The core of Chain Strike and Accumulated Fortune, two cards that get better effects if they are activated higher up on the chain, uh, made a deck strategy that included a significant number of cards that were quick plays or traps. You were meant to go into a chain of four or five, then conclude with a devastating chain strike for something like 2,000 points of damage. This card is killer. And despite the fact that it can't be activated with other chain strikes in the chain, it is limited to this day because of how powerful it is. So, not a lot to talk about in terms of individual cards. I'll just roll through them real fast. One Exiled Force, two Mecha Dog Marin. This is the worst card in here. The Morphing Jar, the Sangan, all makes sense. And then the Spells and Traps. Three Chain Strike, which uh, as Chain Link 2 or higher can be activated and inflicts 400 points of damage for each chain in the chain link that this card is activated. Uh, Graceful Charity, Poison of the Old Man, a quick play spell card that burns. Scapegoat, Triple Tremendous Fire, a great way to start your change. Accumulated Fortune, a great way to continue them. One Dimension Wall, one Gravity Bind, Triple Jar, Triple Just Desserts, Magic Cylinder, Triple Ojama Trio, Double Reckless Greed, Ring of Destruction, Triple Secret Barrel, Threatening Roar, and Waboku. As you can see, we are activating a lot of cards that functionally just add to the chain. So we can hit a sick chain strike and refill our hand with accumulated fortune. In the side, we're playing uh, Cyberstein, but I, I promise you I will not board into it. I'm sick of this card. We've also got Nibble Mamamaga for some reason, Spirit Reaper, Double Giant Trunade, Heavy Storm, Limiter Removal, Triple Megamorph, and a Mirror Force. So with that, let's jump into the games. You know, as soon as Joseph and I saw Ancient Gear in any capacity, we knew that this deck was going to be jank, especially when you're considering the fact that this deck won a tournament in 2007. This is Chimera Tech OTK featuring Ancient Gear Drill. Now, as jank as this may sound, this actually isn't bad. If you've never seen Ancient Gear Drill before, this card reads like it would be a custom card and actually reads like it's one step away from playability. If you control an Ancient Gear monster, discard one card, set one spell directly from your deck, this turn that spell cannot be activated. Now, by modern Yu-Gi-Oh standards, this card is a bit slow, but in the context of 2007, 2006, there is time that is able to elapse before you're able to kill your opponent. So Ancient Gear Drill effectively allows you to search whatever combo piece you're missing if you're trying to kill your opponent with something like a Chimera Tech Overdragon. And so this in tandem with Dimension Fusion and Giant Trunade, if you're missing any piece of this combo, you can just search it with Ancient Gear Drill, wait a turn and do it on the following turn. Your opponent knows it's coming, but there may not be much they can do about it because Chimera Tech was one of the strongest forces from around this time so this deck is mildly constructed playable but just because it's jank doesn't mean it has to be terrible so this is the deck we're bringing today let's go ahead and do the card by card so first up we have three copies of ancient gear cannon and two copies of ancient gear soldier cannon says you contribute it to inflict 500 damage to your opponent and if you do neither player can activate trap cards during the battle phase of this turn this is actually surprisingly relevant because of stuff like mirror force and the like so the fact you get to protect some of your threats this is actually i would say the more playable playable ancient gear card of the two because soldier only gets that protection when it attacks specifically but honestly i mean 
it's pretty bad, but it works for the purpose of Ancient Gear Drill. Then we have some more bad cards, Barrel Dragon and two Blowback Dragon. I guess theoretically we can make Gatling Dragon with these, so there is some purpose to be playing these, but God, these are not fantastic. Three Cyber Dragon, of course, because we need for Over Dragon. A Dekoichi, I guess we're on one because we don't want to get them knocked, which is strange, but it is what it is. We have a Drillroid for hitting through defense monsters. Jinzo and Spell Canceler are to shut off all spells and traps respectively once we get them off of Dimension Fusion. We have Magician of Faith to get back any of our spells and of course we have a morphing jar to turbo through our deck for the spells triple ancient gear drill i really hope we get to show this off because this would just be hilarious if we can actually resolve it card destruction is in here as well just to turbo through the deck a little bit quicker triple dimension fusion because we're back in a time where this card is legal for some reason a future fusion double giant true nade graceful charity heavy storm magical mallet which is effectively reload but you get to pick what goes back so I guess it's slightly better. I still can't believe they were playing this. And three copies of Nightmare Steel Cage, which is also just like a worse Swords of Revealing Light, but Swords was still limited at this point, so we had to make do with what we had. We also have Triple Overload Fusion and a Scapegoat rounding up the spells. And for traps, we have a Gravity Bind, a Mirror Force, and a Torrential Tribute. The extra deck, we have Chimera Tech Over Dragon, which is our primary win condition. Cyber End and Cyber Twin could maybe come up. We'll see. And then we also have Gatling Dragon as well. Gatling Dragon may not be able to output as much damage as something like Twin or end, but it's able to clean up the board in case you're in a situation where you're falling behind, so I guess that's okay. And then the side, we have another Dekoichi, Double Death Wombat. Uh, this is 100% going in after game one, because this will basically be the way we win the game. We have an Emergency Provisions, two Barrel Behind the Door, which is very funny. I didn't know they were siding this, but we have it for Joseph, so that's great, as well as two Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment. If he's able to win games two and three, I will be shocked, because we have like nine cards we can bring in here. A Ring of Destruction, Triple Threatening Roar, and Triple Waboku. Guys, this is going Going to be a wild one. I don't exactly know how the Dimension Fusion deck is going to go against Burn, but we do have some stuff in the side deck. Maybe we can take this one and actually stay out of the jank tank. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Buddy, we, we picked some winners this time. Uh, quite literally, yeah. actually, because my yeah. deck actually won. Yours top aided, I believe. And uh, I, I mean, Chain Burn is a deck that is still feared to this very day, as it seems. I was going to say, uh, Chain Burn won 2017 Dragon Duel Worlds. Ryan Yu. Uh, Ryan Yu. Legend. The, the boy uh, went on to graduate from Dragon Duels to beat me at Northeastern Regionals for the next couple of years. That, was, the, that was definitely the bigger against. accomplishment, right? But this is fun. Uh, these decks are actually, like, very competent. I feel like we we've had some we've had some jank, buddy. Don't get me wrong, we've had some jank, but we've this is like jank. this is like playable jank. I think we've taken a, a break from the last two episodes. I think we've had our fill for a bit, and uh, don't worry, everyone. We'll be getting back to some more garbage later. But for now, I yeah. think it's good to have a you know a little bit of a intelligent jank. Let's call it. <laughs> It's frustrating because for so long, Yu-Gi-Oh! was just the game where you start your deck with the same 15-20 card core, and even the jank that we were finding included those cards. Uh, we had to really scrape the bottom of the barrel the last couple of episodes in order to find something that wasn't just, you know, goat control splashing one copy of a clearly suboptimal card. Yeah. And uh, now people start actually experimenting with deck archetypes, deck builds, you know, shaving Breaker the Magical Warriors and the like. So uh, very excited to see what comes of it, and very excited to play this five minute game yeah this is going to be uh you know the reason we're talking so long is because we need to hit the ad revenue time and i think at yeah. this point we're probably good so let's shout out our patron it is mystic tomato is a fiend thank you for the support and reminder at the same time hey cool uh could you please show up in my twitch channel tomorrow and i'll ban you i, I listen if it was if it was a plant that it wouldn't look so fiendish, all right? <laughs> they're very, uh, I like how the patrons are very savage towards you, but they're actually pretty uh, benevolent towards me. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? When, After I say that, that's gonna change very quickly though, so. Uh, I was gonna say, the patrons have two feelings towards me, uh, intense disrespect and horniness. Yeah, uh, and, sometimes and sometimes both. both at the same time. So I was yeah. about to say, sometimes both. All right, buddy, uh, you got a hand raised for me? Oh, right. Um. I got it. Okay, I'm gonna go with odd. It is even. Fuck! I'm holding up six fingers because I'm gonna go chain link six chain strike. God. Okay, so my is, logic was you're gonna go odd because there's five letters in the word chain. So clearly I'm thinking oh. way too hard about this, but. Yeah, yeah, that would have been good. All right, uh, the burn player gets to go first. This is not good, but I guess I get a battle phase. So I guess that's somewhat good, but I guess you have like 8 million ways to negate battle phases. So this is, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> 
Oh! <laughs> you having fun? You enjoying yourself? Am I just dead? No, I don't think you're dead. Oh, um, okay. Let's go. All right, let me think. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this this is a yep. real tough decision for you, buddy. Go ahead, buddy. We'll draw. Got anything in standby? No, no. Okay, I'll go to main one. My hand sucks. My hand is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is awful. Uh, I will set one and pass. Hmm. Okay. Stand by me. All good. Uh, I'm going to go gravity bind. Sure. Response? No response. Uh, Waboku. All good. Would you like to go for chain link three? Chain strike. There it is. All right. Would you like to go chain link four? Accumulated fortune coming in? I, I was planning on it, yes. Perfect. All right. I, I, I know this deck. All right. Well, uh, chain link five, or are you good? Nah, I'm good. Okay, so we're going to resolve this backwards. So you get to draw two cards from Fortune. Uh, I'm going to take a million damage. Uh, so I take, what, 400 per chain link, correct? So a 1,600. Yes. And then uh, Waboku and Gravity Bind is going to stay up. And that's it. All right, you are good to go. I was going to say, now you just do it again. All right, we'll draw. Uh, oh, perfect. That That's exactly what I needed. How did this deck win anything? I even, okay, Joseph, even if you were playing a normal deck, I, I still would have nothing that I could do. Like, not even joking. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm down. Uh, okay, let's go like this. And you are good. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Oh, perfect. Uh, I guess I'll activate Nightmare Steel Cage against the Burn player. Go ahead. Ooh, that that sounds pretty good, actually. I'm, I really like to hear that. I bet. Oh, wow. Well, shit. No reason for me to do anything. Go ahead. All right. That's turn one on the Steel Cage. I will draw... Oh my god. You know what? Fine. I will set and pass. Go ahead. Stand by me. All good. Uh, I'm going to activate Reckless Greed. That is chain link one. That is fine. I don't have anything else to do. I don't know what you're thinking. Perfect. Oh god. Two turns on Reckless for you. No draws there. I'll go just desserts. So I'm going to take 500 here. Would you like a second chain? Nope. You just want to get rid of it. Sure. I'll take the five. Uh, I'm going to go Tremendous Fire. So I will take a thousand and you will take five. Uh, I'm going to follow it up with a Tremendous Fire. Perfect. I'll take another thousand. You'll take another five. Uh, let's go for Tremendous Fire. Ah, I see where this is going. All right. Uh, I'll take a third thousand. Uh, let's go Poison of the Old Man. Are you going to heal yourself or damage me? You know, it's a tough call. I am going to damage you. Okay, so I will take 800 damage here. Am I dead? Uh, I'm going to secret barrel you. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is 1800. Yep. And I'm probably dead now. Yeah. This was fun. This was a good game. Yeah. It's a fun experience. It's a great time. Buddy, I was fully expecting to lose game one. Fully mm. expecting. Right. I was not expecting to lose game one because my hand was Gravity Bind, True Nade, Sidra, Barrel Dragon, Spell Canceler, Nightmare Steel Cage, uh, Torrential Tribute. I was at least expecting to like try to kill you, but that apparently just wasn't in the cards that game. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that sounds like a skill issue. Uh, maybe clearly, I would. Con you should practice the matchup. I think. Maybe I guess. A more. That, yeah, that might help. I definitely got to start, you know, blaming outside forces and really just, uh, you know, really just reflect on how I can improve as a player. But and that will start by going first in game two. So okay, well, that that will help. All right, Good luck, buddy. What, let me see what I got. Oh, oh my God! Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Right. Let's go to main phase one. And now I want to think about this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and have some fun. I'm going to normal summon ancient gear soldier. Shit. Okay. Yep. We're doing it. Uh, it may not win us the game, but we're going to try ancient Ooh. gear drill. I will discard blowback dragon. That's a good one. We're going to set directly from our deck future fusion. Okay. Thank God you didn't get overload and activate. The fusion. Yeah, I wish. Wait, I wish I was that good. What you want. No. Uh, yep. uh, with that, I'm just going to pass the turn buddy go ahead okay stand by me let's see what you got uh graceful charity great card to start with hmm. exiled force buddy you don't want to exiled force my ancient gear soldier what's wrong with you yeah that um <laughs> i'm actually okay oh, i don't know if i can lose this uh oh great fantastic no 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 i'm <laughs> sorry not the game uh this card uh mecha dog marin Ooh. Okay, probably the only time this card's gonna show up in our series. <laughs> and then he sets five and, oh, sets four. 
Excuse me. Okay, uh, I will draw. We'll go standby main. I will start by yep. activating everyone's favorite card, Future Fusion. I'm going to mill half my deck, most likely. <laughs> All good. So we're going to get rid of the gear, the gear, barrel dragon, the cyber dragon, Jinzo, spell canceler, another cannon, another Sidra, Dekoichi, another Sidra, a gear soldier, and I guess you, we'll get rid of this Drillroid as well. Are, are you sure? Like, you probably want to keep some of these ancient gears in deck in case you draw the other drill. Right, because I'm going to want to drill again. Location. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll take a pass there. So uh, I'm going to mill, I don't even know how many cards. That was too many. A bunch of fucking cards. 13. Yeah, a bunch. Uh, so that is now active. So two turns, I will uh, hopefully get to do something with that. Uh, next... I think I am going to... Yeah, I'll go to battle. No response. 13. I'll take it. All right, we got some damage in. Woo! Uh, second main, I'll set one. I will set one, and I'll throw it to you. Hmm. Set one pass. All right, we'll draw. That's turn one on the future fusion. Okay. Go to main one. Yep. I will flip to Koichi and attempt to draw a card. Yeah, fine. Get that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, that's not good. I'm just going to go to battle. Sure. 13. Uh, when you enter battle, I will gravity vine. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, second main. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. That's interesting. All right, uh, I'm going to activate... Poison of the Old Man. Which mode would you like to use, sir? Yeah, I'm going to burn you. Okay. Uh, in response, I will chain nothing. That's fine. I'll take eight. Uh, I will chain ha Secret Barrel. Oh, okay. So this is chain link two? Yep. Okay. So uh, that means I'll be taking what then? This is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's 1,600. No response. Chain three. Uh, I do have chain strike, yes. Chain strike. That's... Pretty good. Uh, chain link four is probably accumulated fortune. Uh, chain link four. I'm going to chain Pikachu circle of enchantment. Jesus Christ. I've never read this card in my life. And it's not bad. Damage from card effects becomes zero. All right. You did sniff it out. It's accumulated fortune. Sure. That's fine. So we resolve. You get to draw two, but I will take no damage here. I was going to no. lose it anyway to future fusion. So I'll set two. Three, and you are good to go. All right, uh, we will draw. Standby Future Fusion will resolve. In I... draw phase, Ooh. I'll activate Ojama Trio. No, why would you do this to me? <laughs> Ah, uh, enjoy your Ojamas, Alex. Uh, I think your fusion will remain safely in the future. Yeah, that's the case. Fuck. All right, anything else in the draw phase? Or are you good? No, no. Okay. Uh, so then, does Future Fusion still destroy itself? Uh, Future Fusion doesn't destroy It'll itself. It'll just stay here then, right? Yep. All right, well, I guess Future Fusion's just chilling there then. Uh, we'll go to main one. Now, this is where I would love if I could just overlay two level fours, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, what's the play? Got these dumbass fucking Ojamas on my field. Can't do much about that. I'm going to activate Magical Mallet. I have no response to that, uh, <laughs> except for this. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> this deck was main decking Magical Mallet, buddy. Okay, sure. So I'm going to put three back, and I'm going to draw three. Okay. Well, that sort of solves some problems. Uh, heavy storm. Oh, that did solve some problems. Uh, I'm gonna threatening roar here. Sure. Okay, cylinder gone. Happy to see that. I will two in hand, drawing to three. I will s pass the turn since I can't attack you. Not good, folks. Okay, I'd like to see that. Uh, main one, I'm gonna sack the gear soldier for a blowback dragon. Okay. I'm gonna use blowback target your set. Do you have a response? I will chain it. it is reckless clear eat. Okay. Do you get to get some damage in here? What's this, 14, 23, so 37? I don't know how I'm winning this one. Okay, and uh, we'll see if that's true. I will set a back row and go ahead, buddy. Turn one on reckless, no draw for you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go for it. Oh, we'll try. Uh, I will draw battle yes. 14. Yes, that's fine. 23. Dimension wall. Ah, uh, buddy. This would be so good if I didn't have barrel behind the door. <laughs> 
You are not playing this fucking card. <laughs> Holy shit. How does it feel to be burned, motherfucker? <laughs> Barrel behind the door. Why Why are you playing like nine cards in your sideboard for this matchup? Were you scared about running into the burn player at locals? Buddy, this is what the deck was playing. Yeah, I yeah, didn't put these yeah, cards yeah, in, yeah, I promise. Yeah, all right. <laughs> excuses, excuses. I think you have to pick. Oh, I have to pick. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess I have to allow you to go first. Uh, we had an issue with our third game, and so we are doing this again, and uh, you get to go first. I accidentally made me go first, so I will just pass the turn to you, or just, yeah, just play your turn. I won't do anything. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five. All right, go ahead, buddy. Okay, uh, I will draw, since I don't know how to make you go first. Uh, Standby main. Yep. This hand kind of blows, and we're going to see why this card is not very good in this matchup, I imagine. I will heavy storm. Oh, uh, yeah, you will. Uh, okay, so um, we're going to go... Here comes every card being activated. Uh, chain link two poison. Okay, uh, targeting me, I imagine. Yep. Chain link three just desserts. Sure, here comes the Ojamas. Here they come. There they are. And here this comes... And here this Don't comes. draw another two. Uh, okay, well, at least you're not getting draws for two turns. Okay, so you draw four. I get two tokens. I take 15 plus eight, so I take 2,300 from this. Mm -hmm. And you have a whole new hand. Fantastic. Okay, well... On the plus side, I can actually attack you. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to matter. Uh, I will normal summon ancient gear soldier. You got it. <laughs> I will hit you for 1,300 also <laughs> if fine. I can actually attack. I will just pass. Go ahead, buddy. All right, that's one on Reckless. Uh, I will normal summon Mecha Dog Marin and get oh, over perfect. one of these tokens. Sure. So I'm going to take 300 since the token is destroyed. And we'll just do it again, buddy. Great. Uh, wonderful. At least you're not getting more cards as this goes. Uh, I'll draw. Yep. Uh, we'll go main phase one unless you have something in standby. Nope. Uh, let's go ahead and sack off the gear soldier for a blowback dragon. No response to this. Okay. Uh, with Pryo, I will use the effect target your Marin. No response. This is like one of the only ways I have, if maybe not the only way to actually kill this without killing it in battle. Okay. Uh, two heads, please. I would really appreciate it. Fuck. That's not a heads. Dueling book. Let's go simple. It was destined to happen at some point. Okay. If I don't kill the Marin, you can just hit my tokens for another 300. That is true. So I will go to battle and I will just attack. I'll take 13 here. And we both take 1,000, correct? Uh, yes. Probably dead, but got to do what we can. Go ahead, buddy. You are not. I will normal exiled force and walk into a token. Sure. And then main two, you're going to sack off? I will. There goes the blowback. Go ahead. Let's draw. Main one, I will set and pass. Go ahead. Oh my God, I get to draw a card. You do. No more reckless greed. Back to you. Okay, we'll draw. Anything to stand by? No. Okay. Main one, uh, flip to Koichi. Uh, I will chain link to secret barrel. Great. Uh, so that is five plus two is seven. So 1400, sure. Chain link three, I'll secret Anything else? barrel. So 28. Uh, chain link four accumulated. That is fine. Uh, kill me now, buckaroo. <sighs> Okay, so I take 28, you draw four. Yep. Uh, I haven't drawn my card. I need to do that, dude, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I did not draw a card, so I'm gonna draw. Okay, well, this is good. I'm very upset I didn't just do this and I got greedy. I'm gonna sack for a Jinzo. Oh no. And I'm gonna hit for 24. No way. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I know you're playing it. It makes sense that you would play it. I have no responses to attack declaration. You're good, take oh, your 24. Okay, all Fine. right, thank God. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, second main, I don't got anything else. Jinzo, ride me to victory, <laughs> please. All right, graceful charity. Fuck, yeah. Oh my god, shit. I have a, a lot of traps here. I can imagine, but you also have a lot of spells that can do the same thing. And one of them is not banned yet, at the, or limited at this point. You're at 13? I'm at 13. Very low. I could have just slapped Jinzo down and stopped both secret barrels and accumulated, but I wanted that car. <laughs> <laughs> greedy, greedy, and your greed will I be I got your very downfall. greedy. I should not have done it. Uh, I'm going to go for a scapegoat here. Sure. Poison. Fuck. And Don't Shane do Strike. it. Fuck. It's 1,200 <laughs> shit plus the A. I hate this Woo! game. Uh, How did you have three spells? <laughs> Unreal. Oh, my God. Fine. 
See, even Burn isn't immune from Jinzo. Oh like, my god, you made my anus clench when I heard <laughs> Jinzo attack directly. Do you play? I don't limiter even think this level? deck's playing Limiter. I don't think it is. I guess no, the idea I think because is, we're playing all cares, the airs, right? <laughs> because we're playing the ancient gear bullshit. I think like we just don't care. Yeah, yeah. you'll always. Have I mean, Limiter is a bit of a win more card anyway, so. Mm -hmm. it's Ugh. I could see like not playing it. Oh my god! I can't. Where, did you have any other way to get that to chain link three? Uh, not to get it to chain link three. Uh, but uh, we could we could have waited on it. <laughs> oh, okay, fair. You a jar? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I I probably wasn't winning that anyway. Damn, that was that was a good one. That was that, a fun. That one. was fun. Uh, um, ah, uh, you know. <laughs> 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 That's Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, there's a reason that uh, Chain Burn was feared, what, until like 2018? Until they started printing monsters with effects that negate spell traps. Uh, yeah. You could rest yeah. assured that anyone with $30 in their pocket could probably show up to your local randomly and take the whole thing with Chain Burn. Yeah, because, I mean, well, A, in this format specifically, like, the machine deck was the deck to beat, right? right. And it's like, Jinzo was more accessible than ever because of Dimension Fusion and everything, although right. that was never resolving against a Burn deck, but... Yeah, I mean, even to this day, Mystic Mind Burn is a strategy that if you don't have ways to out that deck, it can just absolutely castrate you because it just has the tools and Wave Motion Cannon is just as good now as it was back in Magician's Force. It's a bit slow, but if you have Mystic Mind up, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. God, I mean... This was just, what a fucking set. I mean, we got to see just some stupid shit. Honestly, this could have gone either way, I feel like. Yeah, no. uh, there were opportunities where with some of your back row, you didn't have a battle protector. And if I could have just gone in and hit you with Chimera Tech, it would have been game over. Yeah, so the deck's not on a ton of battle protection. It's on Gravity Bind, of course. Sure. And it's on Dimension Wall and Magical Cylinder, which are kind of that. Uh, but yeah. outside of that, it's on like Threatening Roar and then two Waboku. Uh, because you don't want right. to draw, like, two Threatening Roar, and then they heavy, and then, like, you're wasting what would otherwise be, like, a time walk. It's a uh, very weird uh, setup of defensive spells. I guess the scapegoat is in here, too. Into a format where there's a deck that can just kill you in one turn. Sometimes they go for it, and sometimes you just don't have it. And uh, right. there were a couple of turns in this match where I didn't have it. And I was like, well, if he's got future fusion overload, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Well, it's funny, because I had the... Uh overloads i had i had cyber dragons too i guess but i just didn't have uh the future fusion this time around and i guess that's where like the ancient gear stuff's kind of cool because it does actually allow you to get in ancient gear cannon actually has a somewhat relevant effect too because you contribute it and make it so neither player can activate stuff during the battle phase which means that It'll make your Chimera tech withstand like magic cylinder or dimension wall yep. or mirror force or just anything like that would actually have to be used in battle. Yeah, like you can change stuff like threatening World Waboku prior to that, but I, I actually didn't think that there was actually relevant card text on this card, but you know, it's uh, somewhat decent. And then we got to see some fun stuff out of my side deck too, right? Like we got to see the, the Death Wombat, which is like the third best card out of Lost Millennium specifically made to beat burn decks because it makes it so nothing works. It's a body, so you can kill the opponent with it. It's level three, so it plays under gravity bind and level limit, so that's hysterical. It's just like a custom card for people who hate burn. And then we also got to see like Pikaru's Serpical of Enchantment, which was funny, and Barrel Behind the Door, funny which is, is a even weird funnier. Way to put it, but yes, those are pretty <laughs> hilarious. Yes, I, and I'm shocked that this deck uh, was playing all this anti-burn. I guess that's what it was afraid of the most, especially when you're playing a Dimension Fusion deck. But uh, just very heavily uh, teched out for burn specifically. So mm -hmm. it was funny we got to see some of that used against you for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I do want to say I know we are going to get some people sobbing about the Just Desserts and Ojama Trio interaction. I, as far as I could tell, it is not resolved uh, at the time that, um, that uh, these games were being played. Uh, as to whether you can just desserts with no monsters on the field. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, you can pretend I activated the Ojama Trio in draw phase. Right, and then it would have basically been the exact same thing. What a fun... What <laughs> this a fun is history guy. of jank. We can fuck things up like that. We, I think we actually have a... a uh, you know, we have... We owe it to the viewers to fuck as much as up as possible. And, you know, I'm, I'm just exactly. trying to fulfill my obligation to them. I'm, I'm so sorry that uh, some of you don't see this the same way I do. Um, but I find it very funny.
to cheat. It's not necessarily about winning. It's about just making as many mistakes as possible and still making a comprehensive episode. Hey, listen, I have played a lot of advanced <laughs> TCG where my philosophy has been, if we <laughs> fuck up less than our opponent, we can still walk with the match, and it has served me yep. very well. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of the History of Jank. We hope you guys enjoyed. Let's shout out the patrons as always. A big shout out to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim 00 x 3 Ika Iron Fang, Ian Musa, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Secret Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Striconic, Useless Fast, and 05. Colt T, Rockside, Dolly Up, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Elson, Jordan Coons, Calvin, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockley 325, Chat God, Silent Agent 216, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Brody Eastwood, Day, Sir Elias Panero, Carlos DT, Final Daddy, Give Me Speedward or Give Me Death, Ashlyn Jensen, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Hots for Gage, Matthew Brady, Dr. Solace, Max, Tom Russell, Gage just play Watts already, Chipotle Rice, Eric Rems, Wayan, MBT, I'm Pregnant, and You're the Father, MBT, Toe Sniffer, and Talk Dirt to be MBT. You've got the best fans, buddy. Did you ever know that? I hope these people aren't my fans. My God. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.